A cadastral survey is a classification of land survey conducted to determine the boundary of a location for a purpose. It specializes in the establishment and re-establishment of real property boundaries. Hence, cadastral survey is necessary for legal creation of properties. The products obtained after the cadastral survey can be in the form of plans, certificates or digital data. The data relates to the laws of land ownership and the definition of property boundaries. Let's look into the features of cadastral survey. A cadastral survey conveys the following principal features. It interprets and advises on the boundary locations. It subdivides land into part and provides ownership under the land title. It tells about the status of ownership of the land, the rights and restrictions and interests in the property. It records information related to property boundaries in the form of plans, maps, etc. It conducts physical delineation of property boundaries in the form of areas, dimensions and the rights associated with the property. Cadastral survey can be conducted on any property like land or water that is defined either by natural or artificial features. Principles of Cadastral Survey The main objective of Cadastral Survey is to determine the legal property boundary which involves the following stages. Number 1. Resurvey Resurvey is conducted to obtain the copies of the deed description and all related documents from the owner. Deed description mentions all details regarding the deed. It is not a tax or other documents. For your special note, a property deed is a written and signed legal instrument that is used to transfer ownership of the real property from the old owner, that is the grantor, to the new owner, that is the grantee. Number 2. Examine the documents. Once all the records are obtained, the documents are examined for errors like closure errors. Number 3. Field Survey Initial field survey is performed based on the locating documents. In urban regions, monuments should be sought initially, but in the absence of monuments, property corners marked by iron pins, metal survey markers, iron pipes and other features possibly establishing a line of position should be located. Number 4. Traversing When the approximate positions for the boundaries of the property have been located, traversing is performed around the property. During the control traverse is being run, ties should be measured and all the details relevant to the boundaries should be acquired. This includes but is not limited to locating the property corners, monuments, fences, hedgerows, walls, walks and all buildings on the lot. The survey when gets all these data, they collect the data and compares it to the records which were received. When a solution is reached, the chosen property corners are coordinated and Ties by direction and distance are computed from the nearest traverse point. Number 5. Developing Map Once this has been established, the features on the lot can be drawn, dimensions can be shown from these features to the boundary line and a map or plot is prepared for the client. Now, talking about a cadastral survey. A cadastral survey is the only personnel who is authorized to perform cadastral survey. As a survey, Surveying graduate or a surveying associate carrying out the survey under the supervision of a cadastral survey who expressly or impliedly accepts responsibility for the surveyor's survey quality. The responsibility of the surveyor is to determine the boundary of the real property on the ground. This is the boundary that was established already in legal documents and official plans and maps as per the attorneys, engineers and before land surveyors. Here, the corners of the property would be either monumented by a prior surveyor or will be monumented by the surveyor that is hired to perform the survey. If you like this video, let us know by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel Engineering Fanatics.